Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today I've got something a lot of people have been requesting. It's finally here. We're going to be shooting Sierra Sportsmaster, their 165 grain Game King bullet in 308 Winchester. And here's my test rifle, a Ruger American Gen 1. Yes, I did the custom paint job myself. It's got a 22 inch barrel and I did have it threaded for a suppressor. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on here. I've got 308 stamped on the front and a whitetail buck on the back. Check out my website, shopmasonleather.com. I'd love to make you one. I'll be taking three shots into ballistics gel from 100 yards. So let's shoot it. And we are down at the blocks after shooting that Sierra Sportmaster 165 grain Game King load out of the 308 Winchester. Interesting stuff. It's pretty new from what I understand. We captured all three bullets and they look absolutely incredible. Look at the mushrooming on those. Of course, we'll pull them out in a second and take a look. But penetration wise, looks like we got 25 inches on that one. And then these two are both right about, we'll give them 26 inches. They're closer to 26 than 26 and a half. And they all expanded really 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 nicely and coming over to the first block to look at wound cavity these things gave a nasty wound cavity really long so they come in they open up at about one and a half to two inch mark and this wound cavity keeps on going keeps on going all the way till about they've tapered off right about here at about 13 inches 12 to 13 inches they start to taper off and then keep on penetrating through that is a long wound cavity right there really nice and here's another angle of that wound cavity, just absolutely nasty stuff. Coming on back, there's those bullets again. Well, let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. All right, y'all, so we've got the bullets out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and take a look at them and go over everything. The Sierra Game King 165 grainers out of the 308 Winchester. Let's go ahead and hit it. Weight retention, 141, 157, 159 for an average of 152 grains retained weight. That's 92% weight retention. As I understand it, these are not bonded bullets. That is excellent weight retention for a non-bonded bullet. Very, very pleased with that. On to expansion. We had pretty darn good expansion. 0 0.7, 0 0.78, and 0.79 inches respectively for an average of 0.76 inches. Now, take a look at the bullets here. The one in the middle looks just absolutely beautiful. Of course, we're gonna have some variability. It's a chunk of metal hitting something going super fast, so they're not all gonna be exactly the same. Well, unless you're Federal Fusion, but that's beside the point. The one on the right is a little less concentric. The one on the left is a little bit more, you know, boondoggled if you will got chewed up a little bit more on impact but they're all pretty good they're all gonna make a nasty hole and overall that works out to 2.5x expansion well above the 2x mark i like to see for medium game hunting bullets and the reason I have that 2x rule that I kind of go by is because that's what good hunting bullets typically do. It's not anything mathematical or anything like that. It's just that the good bullets that tend to perform well on game all have that 2x plus expansion to them. So that's the benchmark. Velocity wise, we had 2731 for the high, 2714 for the low. So the spread was nice and tight there for an average of 2722 versus the factory build velocity at 2,760 feet per second. So on average, we only came in 30, 38 feet per second under factory stated velocity. That's not bad at all. That's a lot better than I've seen with a lot of stuff. We're right there in spitting distance from that factory rated velocity. And remember my rifle, like most 308 hunting rifles has a 22 inch barrel. Now the suppressor that I'm using on it, it makes the range day a little bit easier on me. Um, it does give a very slight boost in velocity, very slight, maybe more like a 22 and a half, 22 and three quarter inch barrel. Nevertheless, pretty good velocity out of this stuff. And the estimated impact velocity down there at 100 yards would be about 2,531 feet per second. On to penetration, excellent penetration out of these Game Kings. 25 inches, 26 inches, and 26 inches for an average of, we're gonna round up about 26 inches of penetration. That's well past that 20 inch mark I like to see for medium game hunting ammo. And once again, that's a benchmark derived from what other good hunting ammo tends to do. Doesn't have anything to do with how wide a deer is. We can't line up a thousand deer and shoot them with every different load to compare the results. What we can do is compare ammo to ammo against an objective test medium, which is what we're doing. And kinetic energy wise with 165 grain bullet going on average 2,722 feet per second, 
We're looking at 2,714 foot-pounds at the muzzle and about 2,347 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. All right, y'all, so it's time for my final thoughts on this Sierra Sportmaster 308 Winchester load with 165 grain Game King. Absolute classic bullet. A lot of reloaders know about it. I've known about them for a long time. Seems to be a great cup and core classic soft point bullet. Did really, really well across the board. Excellent weight retention, excellent expansion. Velocity was really good. That doesn't speak to the bullet. That speaks more to the ammunition as a whole. Penetration was absolutely excellent. There's not really a bad thing I can say about this ammunition. I hope it becomes more widely available. I haven't actually gone out to, to buy any new ammo lately um, in the last few months, so I don't really know what availability looks like. When I did get this box of ammo, it wasn't just everywhere. I had to search for it a little bit. Hopefully the stuff will be more available soon, if it's not already. So what would I use this stuff for? Well, anything that I would hunt with a 308 Winchester, I would not feel undergunned using this ammo on. I think it did great. If your gun likes it, if my gun liked it and shot it nice and tight, I wouldn't hesitate to use it on just about anything. At least medium game wise. We get up into medium, large, you know, elk and bigger. There might be some better options out there just to ensure maximum penetration. But for whitetail deer, wild hog, stuff like that, I think this is a great choice. So if you or anybody you've known has used this Sierra Sportsmaster ammunition, let us know in the comments how it did for you. And here's the back of the box. As you can see, there's almost no information on here, no promo information at least. We've got the muzzle velocity, 27, 60 feet per second. We've got you know the purported trajectory. They do give us a G1 ballistic coefficient of 0 0.404, but nothing more than that. And make sure you check out my website, shopmasonleather.com. Everything is handmade by me just for you. Cartridge cuffs, slings, even coffee mugs showing off all your favorite hunting cartridges. Perfect for deer camp. And I bet if you head over right now, there's a great deal waiting for you. I look forward to serving you through my leather work. The link is in the pinned comment or just type shopmasonleather.com into your web browser. And if you want early access to all my videos, become a channel member. The link to join is in the pinned comment. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.